y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video we're going to continue our Thanksgiving series with an unturkey. That's right, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a vegan turkey for Thanksgiving or really any time of year you want a turkey. This is an adapted recipe from Miyoko's Unturkey. I'm going to have that video linked in the card below at the end, all the places. That video she put out seven years ago, and I still return to it every year for a refresher on how she makes her turkey. Now I make mine slightly different, of course. We all have our own unique ways of doing things. But I wanted to do a video on my channel because that video is seven years old. Not a lot of people know about it, and I'm sure I'm sure I'm not the only one that returns to it every year, but it's time for an updated version and time for me to show y'all how I've been making my turkey. So I'm going to grab the ingredients and we're going to get started. So I love Miyoko's recipes and cheeses and butters and all the things. She's really inspired me to make my own butter, make my own cheese, make my own vegan Thanksgiving turkey. Things that I didn't necessarily even know were possible when I first went vegan. Now I want to spread that knowledge as far and wide as I can so that people know that, that you can really have anything vegan. You can really make anything vegan. It just takes some trial and error, some experimentation, some chemistry. But Miyoko is one of those people who has made me feel like I can always make it happen. If I want something, I can figure out how to make it vegan. So I'm gonna grab the ingredients and we're gonna get started on this turkey. So for my version of this recipe, I'm actually gonna be making a quarter time because I do not need a whole big old turkey right now. And for my family, the sides are more important than the turkey. I make a much smaller turkey than she does, so I will be cutting the cooking times as needed for that. So for my version of Miyoko's Unturkey, you will need wheat gluten, veggie stock, or some type of not chicken stock, liquid aminos, chickpea flour, Miyoko's seasoning blend, butter, and white wine, and Yuba sheets. Okay. I've got two different brands here. I'm gonna try. I used this brand before. I have not used this brand before, um, but this one seemed like a thicker texture, and, and I wanted to see what the difference would, between these two brands would be. And the white wine is actually going to be for the braising liquid, so I'm going to set it aside for now. As well as the butter will be for the braising liquid, I'll put that aside. Since the oven is hot, I'm just going to put it on top of the stove to let the butter like melt, because I am going to melt that. So in her version of this recipe, she uses soy sauce. I'm substituting the soy sauce for liquid aminos, because there is one person at... There's one person at our Thanksgiving dinner that is allergic to soy, so when I make the dough, I'll make it soy free, split her piece off, and cook it separately before I put the yuba sheets on because these are straight soy. These are made out of soy. So I would like to eventually find a soy free replacement for this. I, I wonder if coconut milk does the same thing or if it would be too sweet, but so far this is the only version of this I know about. If y'all know anything that I could use that was soy free to replace this, let me know down below. That would be amazing, but for now I just split some off so that I can make a piece soy free for anybody that wants that and then the rest will have the skin on it. So to start out in this bowl, I'm going to add my stock, my liquid aminos, and my seasoning blend. I will also I will also have a link to the seasoning blend down below. It is seriously good. That seasoning mix makes this recipe. That seasoning mix is so good and I still make it exactly how it is, how her recipe has it. I use it every year in like all of Thanksgiving. Like I put a little bit in the stuffing. I might put a little bit in something else that needs a little flavor pick me up. But my absolute favorite thing to do with it has nothing to do with Thanksgiving at all. I love it on sauteed kale. Curly leaf kale, water sauteed, Miyoko seasoning. Seriously, one of the best snacks, side dishes. I love it so much. And a few years ago, before I was vegan, I didn't like kale. But my god, if you don't like kale, try that because it's so freaking 
freaking good. Anyways, back to this. I'm gonna mix in my chickpea flour. And now I'm going to add my wheat gluten. I'm gonna start off mixing it with the spatula and then just get in there with my hands. I'm just gonna mix it until it comes together. We're not really gonna need this at all. So we want it to stay tender and moist. Just gonna scrape the sides with it too there. And as soon as it comes together and it's all moistened, I'm gonna take it and kind of leave it in this football shape and bake it. Originally hers bakes for th uh, 30 minutes. Since mine is so tiny, we are only gonna bake it for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna check it. While the turkey is in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and get a boiling pot ready to go. Use a pot that's big enough to fully submerge the turkey in and fill it with water. And to this water, we're gonna add our seasoning mix and more liquid aminos. And then I'm just gonna stir this together and set it aside. I'm not gonna turn it on yet, I'm gonna wait. And also while my turkey's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make my braising liquid. We don't need that until a little bit later, but I might as well use this time to go ahead and make it. A little bit hot because it just melted the butter. Well, that's my timer. I guess we will set this aside and do it in just a second. Okay, I may have misjudged. 10 minutes for, for one this size, not enough. I'm gonna go 10 more and we'll see where it's at. And back to our basting mixture. If I've been saying braising, I meant basting. Yeah, it's been one of those days. We will return to our white wine, melted butter, and once again, seasoning. By the way, this is an old jar that I did not take the label off of. I probably should have done that. There we go. Alright, you're going to want to let it cool down a little bit before you 
to handle it because you need to cut it before baking it. Uh, so I just let it cool to where I can handle it. And I think I'm going to try these Yuba sheets today. These feel like they don't need to be soaked in water. They're kind of thicker, but I think the other ones do get soaked in water. Oh, these are in little squares. That's interesting. That could be useful. So, since this doesn't need to soak in water, I'm going to submerge it in our basting liquid. I actually think it's going to take two of these, so I'm going to go ahead and soak two of them. Okay. Now we are going to take our sea tan turkey out of the water. And in her video, she cuts off one side, uses that as the side to set it on, and then slices it through and stuffs it. I'm not stuffing it today, so I'm not going to be cutting it. Definitely check out the link down below to her video and to see how to like actually stuff this, which I'll be doing for Thanksgiving, but today we're just making a little sea tan turkey. So, I'm gonna line the bottom of my pan that I'm gonna bake the turkey in with the yuba and place it inside and then wrap the yuba sheet around it. And I'm gonna take the second one and put it over top and tuck it underneath so that it stays. Finding these thicker ones a little bit harder to use than the thinner ones. But I'm hoping that it'll give me a really nice crust. Okay, that's about as good as I think I'm gonna get it. I'm going to brush the top and then pop it in my oven. So my little turkey has been baking for a little bit. I'm gonna pull it out and baste it. And then I'm gonna let it bake for a little bit longer, but And cruelty free, what more could you ask for in your Thanksgiving turkey this year? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this inspires you to make your own vegan Thanksgiving turkey. It looks hard and overwhelming, but honestly, it is pretty simple. Mix the dough, bake it, boil it, bake it. That's really it. All right, leave me a comment down below what you're having for Thanksgiving this year. Let me know if you're going to a Friendsgiving and you're just bringing something, if you're going to a family thing. Let me know what you're bringing to your Thanksgiving this year down in the comments. Like this video if you liked it and share this video around so everyone can have a cruelty-free Thanksgiving turkey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for to never miss a delicious recipe. And I will see y'all next time. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye y'all.